According to the Department of Homeland Security, there are 34,860,000 lawful permanent residents in the United States. These are green card holders that have satisfied all the requirements to live, work, and enjoy the facilities or lack thereof of this particular country. 9,130,000 of those lawful permanent residents are eligible for naturalization like me. We have either just have not gotten through the documentation process of it or have not decided whether we are going to take up citizenship in these United States. Minors, felons depending on the state, or mentally incapacitated people also depending on the state are not the only people in the United States that cannot vote. Law-abiding, tax-paying, non-citizens like myself also are devoid of that privilege. Even attempting to register or vote with our current status is a legitimate reason for deportation. Approximately one-tenth of this country are privy to all the rights and responsibilities of the current citizen, barring one. The right to have a say on how we, or this country, is governed. All this to say that if you can vote, you should. Do not take this lightly. You might only be one person going in the polls, but that ballot that you are holding and filling out also contains three, four, five other voices that are not able to speak for themselves. I've been in this country for almost three elections, and this more than ever is no longer about politics. This election is more about the morality of a nation, a nation that is made up of many, many peoples. Is this country going to continue on the path of divisiveness, of one versus the other, of further polarization? Or are we finally going to coalesce, work together for a common goal to just be better? For the first time in 11 years of me living in New York, am I fearful of how things are going to turn out? It has never been a perfect society, but more and more, the level of vitriol and hate and persecution of each other have just risen exponentially. And I believe this can be changed. I believe this can be fixed for the better. And it starts with you, the person, the individual has the power to vote to do so. Your voice, despite one of many, despite small, will be heard. So use it in behalf of me and behalf of the children of the future.